So welcome to Oshkosh 2022 here in Wisconsin, uh, EAA Air Venture. Um, we're at the Chuck Surak, uh, the new proud owner of Enstrom Helicopters. Congratulations on uh, your new acquisition, Chuck. Well, thank you, Rex. Happy to be here and, and happy to be the new owner of Enstrom. From a helicopter perspective, what enticed you to come looking for Enstrom as a possible option for ownership? Well, I heard they had filed bankruptcy, and yet they were a phenomenal company. Started in 1957, made over 1,100 helicopters. They've sold them to foreign military, VIP. A lot of them are used in training, that sort of thing. I learned myself in a 280, and then eventually I bought a 480. And uh, when the company became available, I knew how good the employees were. I knew it's the safest helicopter in the world. If you look at the safety records, we're really, really safe. And I just knew there was an opportunity to improve the company and, and, and restore it and take it on to the next level. You'd gotten the helicopter flying bug a little later in life than some of us, but uh, you really had a passion for it. So you did start in the Enstrom um, on day one? I did. I had a friend that flew into a fly-in in Fort Wayne, Indiana, at Smith Field. And I said, how cool is that? He flew in a 480B. And uh, I said, that is awesome. He said, well, you should do it. And I said, I couldn't even spell helicopter back then. <laughs> you know, 15 years later now, I have a big charter operation and, and, and was able to buy Instrum. And so I'm all about helicopters now. So in coming in, what are, what are some of the things you see in, in the vision for the next, uh, say, three, five, 10 years down the road for Instrum? Well, immediately we have to start building parts, which we've done that. We have about 70 employees back at our factory in Menominee, Michigan, and we're filling all the back orders. And, when they were out of business for about six months, a lot of back orders came in. So we're fulfilling those, we're building parts. That will, once we start building parts, that'll allow us to start building helicopters later this fall. So our goal is to get some helicopters built. And by HAI next year, we hope to have a little bit more modernized helicopter with a glass panel, and that's what we'll do going forward. And for the next couple of years, we're just gonna build helicopters. There's a big demand to have a helicopter like this. So you're here at Oshkosh, where can people come find you? We're at the Instrum booth, and I'm here all day, all week, and just having a great time, you know, reintroducing Instrum to the world again. I've had so many customers come up and say thank you for saving the company, and it's amazing how many helicopter people there are at EAA. You normally think of this as a fixed-wing <laughs> airplane show, but it, there's a lot of helicopter people here. No, I would agree. There's a lot of helicopter people and helicopter mechanics here that um, are just having a great time, and I know that everybody I've talked to that has an Instrum or has flown an Instrum is extremely grateful for you stepping in and taking over, and we just look forward to the future of what Instrum's gonna to bring to the market. <music>